Hey guys, welcome to our channel, before starting the video if you have not subscribed our channel till now then please subscribe it. In this video, we will see what is Aspect Oriented Programming. Aspect Oriented Programming, AOP, complements Object Oriented Programming, OOP, by providing another way of thinking about program structure. The key unit of modularity in OOP is the class, whereas an OOP the unit of modularity is the aspect. OOP entails breaking down program logic into distinct parts called so-called concerns. The functions that span multiple points of an application are called cross-cutting concerns and these cross-cutting concerns are conceptually separate from the application's business logic. A scenario where we should use OOP. Logging. Auditing. Declarative transactions. Security. Caching. Up concepts. Aspect. A modularization of a concern that cuts across multiple classes. Transaction management is a good example of a cross-cutting concern in enterprise Java applications. In Spring Up, aspects are implemented using regular classes, the schema-based approach or regular classes annotated with the at aspect annotation, the at aspect style. A point during the execution of a program, such as the execution of a method or the handling of an exception. In Spring Up, a join point always represents a method of execution. Advice, the action was taken by an aspect at a particular join point. Different types of advice include around, before and after advice. Many OP frameworks, including Spring, model an advice as an interceptor, maintaining a chain of interceptors around the join point. Point cut, a predicate that matches join point. Advice is associated with the point cut expression and runs at any join point matched by the point cut. For example, the execution of a method with a certain name. The concept of join points as matched by point cut expressions is central to OP and Spring uses the aspect point cut expression language by default. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see whatever we implemented it's working or not. Service started. See it's working fine. Now let's search for the app related dependency in to enable app we need a namespace for that. First one aspect J Weaver. Copy and paste it in palm XML file. Now let's search for spring app namespace XML. Go with the Spring documentation. Here it is. Let's copy this and paste it in Spring Surf XML file. Now we need to enable using App Aspect J Auto Proxy. That's it for XML. Now let's add Java related configuration. Better create a separate package. Package ends with an aspect. Create a new class called logger aspect. Annotate this class as an aspect. Create a point cut. Star means anything. The dot means any number of parameter. The first star represents package suffix. The second star represents the class. The third star represents method and dot represents variable arguments or no of method parameter for. Now we need a join point. And that method annotate with the advice like here before same way you can use after, after triple etc. 
Now put some system out so come to know which method is executing. Entire op works on proxy design pattern, whatever method I am calling these all are related to reflection API. Move the sub property before context component scan. Let's run and see it's working or not. Service started. Let's open same in the browser and see log is printing or not. Oops it's not printing. I think forgot something. Aspect class need to annotate with the component as well. Let's run again. Service started. Hit the URL. As you can see two welcome messages are printing, one from up and other what we put earlier. Let's remove previous messages. Removed all the system out, let's see it's coming from aspect or not, let's run again. Service started. See it's coming. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.